and she said, Eric, I used to go to Festival of Dreams every year to see your work. I was, I didn't have my cane, but I was struggling to get in the chair, and she could see that I was having a problem. So it was a nice conversation about <coughs> how I'm making the most of my life now, and I told her that I'm coming here, and I said, she said, oh, what do you do for that? I said, oh, I sometimes tell stories, and she's like, stories? I don't get So I, told, I said, here's the story I'm going to tell. It's called The Merry Christmas. And maybe some of you, if, that's why I asked, have you been here before? Because I know I told this story the first time I came here. So in honor of my mother, I will proudly stand to tell the story of Merry Christmas. So growing up, I was Christmas crazy. I always was. I'm first. <laughs> so in our house, the fireplace had a wooden mantle. And the only thing that ever went on it was this little tinselly thing that said Merry Christmas, and it had all the cups in it. Oh, yeah. You know the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still buy it at Piper's these days. But the thing was, our mantle didn't quite cover the whole thing. So the S used to be on the side, so it said Merry Christmas. So I thought to myself, I'm a decorator. I'm making a few bucks. I know how to work with this gear. So I said, Mom, my Christmas gift to you this year I'm going to do your mantle, and I'm going to make it so beautiful, it'll blow your mind. Mm -hmm. So I pack up my gear, all the most beautiful poinsettias. She likes the colors of red and green. I said, it'll be outstanding. So she proudly takes her seat in the chair next to the fireplace, and I start to work. Now, all she ever had was the tinselly Merry Christmas, a little church, and a few angels I used to buy when Sears had the wish book and it was mm -hmm. under five dollars. Mm -hmm. My pride at 10 years old was three little angels for 4.99 mm -hmm. were the gift to my mother that year for Christmas when I was 10. So that went up every year. So this year, there was none of that. I was having the big garland with all the ribbons and the you name it, and the little <coughs> lit up cardinal, everything, and then the big wreath, and that was lit up. Well, she looked at it, <laughs> curious. <laughs> now, I'm only ever used to the kind of expressions like I see here tonight, like looks of astonishment. <laughs> she didn't give me that look. <laughs> and as if she's trying to make up her mind. <laughs> so, I ordered Chinese food from, for everyone. We ate, and I went home. And I'm thinking, oh, you could have bowled me over a toothpick on that one, because I just didn't get anything out of her like I thought until the next day. The next day she phoned me. Oh, I love my mantle. And I'm like, oh, I knew it. I knew that was coming. Yes, she said, you should come up and see it. Oh. I'm like, what do you mean I should come up and see it? I know it. I did it. Oh, I might have changed the thing. So I go up to the house, and the way it was, you walk into our house. You can see into the dining room before you make it to the living room. So I'm still in the front porch. I can look into the dining room. Stretch right across the dining room table is my mantel piece. And I go turn into the living room and take down to the mantel, Merry Christmas, with the little church, and she's glee with the light. I learned about Christmas traditions that year. Today, she lets me do the big fairies and everything. And I don't know what happened to the church. The church is still there. The church and the three angels are still there. But I don't, there's no more Merry Christmas. So, <laughs> I wanted to tell that story. My mother usually comes to my events, but she stopped coming when I would make a big deal of her. <coughs> I used to do White Before Christmas. Remember, mm -hmm. for some of you who may have seen, at the Sheraton Hotel, and one year, I had a series of dresses. They were all in her size. And we had a little fashion show. And I said, oh, mom, I want my mom to come up. And I said, mom, I want you to pick your favorite dress. She stopped coming after she got that dress. Aww. She was so embarrassed, like <laughs> the spotlight on her. But that's my mother. And if you knew her, you would understand why I would make such a big deal. Um, my mother. I thank Miriam, and I know my mother thanked Miriam. Uh, when Miriam told me,
when she was getting married. I shared with my mother and she said, oh, I'm so happy. He's the luckiest man. She's just so beautiful and so tall. She said, <laughs> she had that hair, like the most natural curly hair. <laughs> she goes on and on. Miriam, so beautiful, so tall, and the beautiful next little boy. So even though my mother is not here tonight, she's here in spirit as I share that story. So thank you for listening to me. There is lots of tea and something to have with this tea. Thank you, Mary. I wish you all a merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to stick around for a little.